Yo, yo, this is Chase Stacks TV. You know what I'm saying? We on episode four. And um, I got same guests as my previous guests before. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna let them introduce themselves once again for the folk. Uh, Jamari, known as Jay from Southwest, Detroit. All right, cool, cool. Mr. Jay from Southwest. Um, so, have you been uh, hearing anything new about uh, gun sales lately or like ammo sales being real, real hard to find or how, how is it looking out there for you? Cause you are, I heard you're a gun enthusiast and you know, you know what I'm saying? Uh, actually, actually uh, the supply chains are starting to get kind of tight. Yeah, yeah. And, and most all the gun places and gun ranges you go to uh, you're only able to purchase ammo unless you're going on a gun range. And I mean, ammo is becoming very, very hard to get. Even shotgun ammo at a regular uh, store like Myers or like Walmart is is drying up. OK, OK. Yeah, that's like a hot commodity like Jordan's right now, man. They selling they flying off the shelves before they hit the shelves. You know, it's like a pandemic within a pandemic, you can say. You feel me? Yeah, it's just simply supply and demand, you know, supply and demand, and that's what make prices go up. And it's basically trying to keep the stock, to keep the shelves stocked, but everybody buying it is as fast, as fast as it's coming in, as fast as it's gone. That's why they regulating it and make you go into the gun range in order for you to even purchase, or unless you're buying a new uh, gun. Other than that, you can't even do it GP. Now, even ordering online, depending on what kind of ammo you're looking for, some ammo is, they even restricting it and regulating it where you only allow to get two boxes at a time now. Okay. Wow. It's that's that's making, tragic, man. That's like, wow. I mean, they, they, they really, you know, the, uh, the gun makers themselves like taking a hit. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. It's even saying on some websites, even after payment, it's taking up to 14 to 16 days just to ship after you done made your purchase. Wow, no cap. That's that's insane. It's just like, you know, breaking news all over the place. We got from 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 guns and you know, um ammo to 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 the um stock market right now, and you know, the the cryptocurrency is going crazy, and uh it's a lot of stuff happening around the world right now, and the weather they sent a uh, a, a huge uh, snowstorm is approaching, and it's a lot going on, man. Uh, February ain't even here yet, so you know how it go. I know. I even just just left the liquor store, and the liquor store guy was saying that he just got some of his premium liquor in after about a good two month uh, delay of like mm. the stuff if it's Remy, Doucet, Don Julio, he was saying even he's gonna have to raise up some of his prices because they started to charge him for, for packaging fee. Wow. Shipping like extra shipping fee now. Yeah. 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 That's that's um I know yeah. they got a lot over their head because they you know got a lot of liquor as well on back order from the pandemic because more people at home drinking more. You know what I'm saying? So it's like we going on round two uh basically year two with this shit so how is it you know affecting you having to wear a mask and you were such a worker you know uh i've been a truck driver over 10 years and you i know you've been over truck truck driver for over 10 years and your job you know what you do or whatever like is is it hard for you to work with uh a mask um you know as far as the work you do time to time it, it can be uh, very irritating especially oh, wow. if you're doing outside labor or something uh, you know or working outdoors or something like that along with driving because you know it may affect your, your breathing you gotta be able to get some kind of air and let things circulate right, right. But sometimes it just get very annoying at times especially, oh, yeah. if, not, especially if you're not around people like yeah. that yeah, I heard, uh, you know, as far as if you went to fitness, you know, into the gym and all that, like they have a plastic, well, it's like a certain mask where it don't, you know, uh, have that soft material and it's easier to breathe and it uh, 
filters out, you know, your uh, CO2 or whatever they say um, that you're supposed to, you know, expel when you exhale or whatever out your system better than the regular, you know, little mask that we have like this right here every day. So if you um, want to, I try to send you a link or something, you know, to find a good one to help you out a little better, man. Cause I don't want you passing out on hundred degree type shit, temperatures in the summer and shit, getting baked like a cake. You know what I'm saying? Pass out type shit, you feel me? So I got your back entertainment on that. So uh, as you um, keeping up with like the BMF series that's coming out with uh, 50 Cent and all this, you know? Uh, kind of, yeah, no. I mean, I know the, I know Southwest, uh, Southwest T on Instagram had a little snippet of, of a little Fifty Cent, uh, maybe some kind of in, some kind of introduction song to the documentary. Sound kind of nice. Yeah, I, mean, yeah. I know it's well anticipated. Right, right. That's a classic, man. That new joint he got a. Uh... Yeah, man, that boy a classic, man. I heard it the first time I heard. It, I knew it was a hit because it don't. It's time. It's like timeless music to me, bro. It ain't nothing that's around going on right now. That's out. It's just sound like a um, one of his classic joint mixtapes when he first came on the scene and he was remaking Mary J. Blige and all them old school tracks, but rapping over them and dissing niggas and shit, mm -hmm. right? So he brought that shit back. So you know, like. Hopefully uh, it's stick and he back it up continuously with more hits just like that. You feel me? And yep. Keep, it, yep. keep it at the core, the roots where it all started. So, um, you know, the way uh, things is looking like uh, with um, the vaccine, I heard uh, it only lasts up to three months. And I heard that from Ashanti after her uh, versus battle in a breakfast club the next day or some shit. That's what I heard her say. I heard my office, it, it only lasts, this first round only lasts up to three months. So how you feel about that, man? Uh, I mean, key word you said or key statement, it only lasts for up to three months. So are you saying after when it wears off after three months, you gotta get injected again? Well, that's, you know, I hope not, but that's the way it's looking. And the way for me, the reason I don't feel comfortable with injecting myself with any foreign um, nanotechnology all the way down to a microchip, um, I just don't understand why they rushed it out so fast without the clinical trials, the, the proper clinical trials that, uh, you know, they test on rats and shit first before us. It's just like they just using us as a, well, them as an experiment at the same time, not knowing, you know, what's going to happen. Like, I really believe this shit can backfire, bro. Like, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of nervous because I just heard today some people uh, in my family, like, um, yeah, they signing up to take that shit on Monday. So I'm just at a point where it's just like, what, what, what can you do, you know? Well, I mean, it's population control, you know, people, people, Go along with the program and go along with certain stuff without even asking further questions or even ask, or not even trying to do further research. No cap. <laughs> like, hey. Man, it, it, it just like uh, reminds me of um, like um, the Black Plague a little bit, you know, and but in a mon but in a more modern time that we live in, you know what I mean? Because if you think about it, every hundred years, it's always a play. It just comes out of nowhere, a play. And uh, that's just the way it is. And I guess the year 3021, there's going to be a new one. You know what I'm saying? Or who knows, man? I don't know what the heck. So, all right. Well, you know what, you, well the thing with that is, too, like back in the day, before all this expansion of technology and expansion of medicine and pharmaceutical companies like back years back where all this information wasn't available to us. Only thing that, especially people in the early 1900s, even 1930s, all you had was only access to a newspaper. Right. But right. back then it was almost like a crime. You shouldn't be reading. Right. Where, 
today we in the information age and people don't want to read or research. They mm. just line up and just believe take. anything they hear. Basically, yeah, that's, they that's don't, the whole point. Yeah. And, and people who do take the time and effort to research or read, oh, you consider the conspiracy theorists because you thinking differently. You ain't going along with the program. Right, you're going against the grain. Oh, oh, oh <laughs> you, consider, you consider crazy or, or you a nutcase because mm -hmm. you don't want to get vaccinated. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, they're going to create this narrative. You don't take the vaccine. You're going to get everybody else sick because you ain't conforming. Right. They're going to they're gonna make you the enemy, the outcast, the black sheep. Of course. Of course. Divide and conquer, man. That's how they always do. But like everything don't always go according to their plan. So what if uh, somehow, you know, it's a mass for a lot of people and they just got to abort the whole plan. You know, but this is on a global scale as well, my folks. Y'all gotta understand this. This is this is like bananas. Like, do astro astronauts gotta take this shit too? You know what I'm saying? Or you know, eventually, uh, will animals start passing this shit along? Or is this shit coming? You know, from like the I know they say it come from Wuhan and all this shit in the laboratory and blah blah blah. But remember the movie that happened in with Mark Wahlberg. You know what I'm saying? The plants, Mother Nature, start releasing chemicals in the atmosphere. You know what I'm saying? And start causing, you know, basically humans to in, uh, act and react to it. You know what I mean? So it's a lot going on. You know, I mean, every everything is uh, all population control, and all the food is being turned into being fake and chemicalized. Nothing ain't real no more. Right, right. It's not, you know, uh, from GMOs to um, uh, um, the fake cloned and, uh, um, you know, like like everything is genetically modified. And uh, we got genetically they, modified booties now, breasts, yeah. but they, but, hair, but 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 you money, yeah. But the way you think about it, you are what you eat, right? So they cut us off from the 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 original animal which has sex with a a female animal and a male animal have sex and they make a pig or you know a cow whatever same shit and they make a, a baby cow right the organic way from the most high way right now you know it's not like that you feel me so they basically cloning all this shit because to keep up with the man the man of the population we consuming there's too many of us on this planet you know what I'm saying we reaching a trillion I think mark of people on the planet now is you know it's crazy, right? So we're using all the resources, man. So you are what you eat. And if you eat clone meat, you know, and they doping all these animals up to, to grow faster, you know, because we consume it so much, we need to grow these animals from a from a puppy or you know, a baby and shit to a full size cow within maybe a week or two, right? But we don't see all this shit happening beyond the scene. Mm. We we consuming it. We keeping these niggas rich. We we going to make well, they going to make all these fast food restaurants keeping these niggas rich and drink you know drinking all the milk and like I said, you are what you eat. Keep that in mind. You know what I'm saying? You are what you eat. So pay attention, folk, to what you eat. You know what I'm saying? Start reading those ingredients as well. I read the ingredients for over, what, 20 years? And I, I haven't eaten pork in over 20 years. I'm not a Muslim or none. It's just like, it's cap. Like, if you research what a pig does, not only the most high tell you not to eat it, but it's disgusting. Like, you know, the pig eat his own feces. It'll eat a human, a dead human, if you, you know, a carcass, any motherfucking thing. It's basically like a piranha slash a hyena. You know what I'm saying? But worse. No cap. Mm -hmm. No cap. Well, I mean, it's it's terrible. Yeah, it is, man. Uh like I said, uh I'm I'm about to, you know, do research on uh like seeds and stuff. I know the government limited certain stuff because we don't know if these seeds are organic as well. Like we don't know if these clone seeds or they're killing nope. off your ability to reproduce. Yes, off mother of 
the earth, Mother Nature, the land. You know what I'm saying? We it's a divine connection we have with that with, well, with this that's planet. Why they, that's why they got condoms and birth control and all this man-made diseases out here. Mm. To I mean, hey, population. Hey, no hey, God, hey, nobody is not there to tell you to put that rubber on or not. I mean, it's all man-made diseases. It's all plagues. Exactly. And another thing, uh, speaking of that, all, all that, you know, like man-made stuff, I was listening to a Jay Prince interview on, um, was it? Yeah, it was, uh, I think, Drink Champs. And long story short, uh, I think it just dropped yesterday or the other day or whatever. Long story short, what caught my attention was uh, he said, you know, he's not impressed by many man-made material things. He more impressed by what the creator uh, has made. And, you know, that impressed me because he was speaking about his ranch and he liked to be surrounded by horses and, you know, life like other uh, creatures. And, you know what I'm saying? That's dope to me, bro. Like, you know, the way, you know, he a veteran season, been in the game, OG legend and all that, you know, but I got a whole different outlook how, you know, I'm going to be moving, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, this is all material at the end of the day, you know, you, 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 you ain't getting nowhere with just, you know, worship of material things. And I know he say not to worship, uh, man you know what i'm saying or it, man's creation you know what i'm saying which is material things so no cap oh, without a doubt. yeah i'm trying to make sure my, my paperwork over there good so um yeah man any 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 new things you um hearing as far as through the through the grapevine um you know, that you want to spit out? Well, I know the, the economic system is real fragile. Yeah, it is, the man. You see how they, you see how about them hedge funds was keeping that all those... Um, Robin Hood traders. Yeah, but just traders in period over all these years, them hedge funds be keeping them from making some real money, and then they got fucked over, and now they got to... Yeah, they you know changed the rules. They're moving the field goal post now. Yeah, they on Reddit. You know what I'm saying? I advise y'all to do research and uh, get on Reddit. You know what I'm saying? I've been on Reddit for about four or five years now, and it's like a conversation platform where it be huge discussions. You know what I'm saying? And shit, shit, shit get done. You know what I'm saying? I heard the quantum, the Q movement was on there a while back, and you know, I, you know, I like to be tapped into all this type of stuff. So yeah, but I'm gonna keep it short, sweet, and simple. You know, time is up. We at the 30 minute mark. So yeah, um, appreciate my special guest Jay from Southwest for stopping back through again. And uh, we got a lot more new content coming. We got rap battles coming. We got freestyles. We got uh promotions from other Black people businesses that we're gonna have. We gonna have diverse conversations. We got women coming on here. Empowerment movements. We have all type of content coming. So make sure y'all stay tuned. Appreciate y'all for checking in. Peace. Hey, you.